Welcome to CCC Sports on 94.1 FM Rockville. I'm Cameron Ugolini, joined by Chase Kelleher and Connor Oliver. And today, on today's show, we are going to be talking about top five NFL teams currently. Chase, what's your take on this? Uh, well, for me, the number one team in the NFL obviously has to be the Kansas City Chiefs. I mean, I don't see how they can't be. They won the Super Bowl. Uh, they added receivers. Uh, you know, they did lose Juju Smith-Schuster, but, um, you know, they added... Uh, you know, Sky Moore, he's really looking like he's going to show up this season. Uh, Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, obviously. You know, got the defense, Nick Bolton. He's the uh, general of the team. I mean, I don't know how you can't see this team, you know, making a deep run again. Can't argue with that, right? Uh, I would say that the Kansas City Chiefs are obviously the number one, but I wouldn't sleep on that Eagles team because, you know, they have – Third, fourth year, uh, Jalen Hurts coming up, leading his team to the Super Bowl, and he's only 24, 23, I think. And I think he has a lot more room to grow. I think that this is just a good young team to watch out for in the next year. So I wouldn't say that it's clear Kansas, but Kansas is still number one. Yeah, and Philadelphia is definitely a strong number two. Like you said, Jalen Hurts, and he has two dangerous receivers in Devontae Smith and – A.J. Brown. How do you see that shaping up this year for Philadelphia? Uh, you know, I, I can easily see them shaping up to be like both 1,000, 1,500 yard receivers. Uh, definitely 10 plus touchdowns each. Um, you can also see receive uh, like the backup guys. Um, you know, we saw it with Quintus Cephas last year. We saw it with Quez Watkins last year. Um, but I can also see that they could lose it with those running backs. I mean, you lose Miles Sanders, he's a 1,000-yard guy, he's coming off his best season. I don't know why you would uh, lose him off the payroll. I understand that you know you brought in guys, um, restructured contracts, and it all equals the same amount as just Miles Sanders, which is good, but Rashad Penny is dangerous. Um, he does have his problems, though. You know He's injured, injury prone. Uh, he was injured last year. He's not a big touchdown guy, um, which is why I do like that they do have and kept Kenneth Gainwell and Boston Scott. Um, but yeah, I definitely watch out for their passing game mainly. So it looks like we've settled that the Chiefs and the Eagles are top two, but what about now the Bills and the Bengals? Because we know that these are two teams with great quarterbacks in Joe Burrow and Josh Allen, and they have some dangerous receivers like Stephon Diggs and Jamar Chase. I mean, where do you guys see them in this rankings? Well, uh, to me, I actually think that the Bills are the bottom five, you know, uh, out of these yeah. teams. I think that the Niners would actually beat them out in a head-to-head -head matchup. Um, you know, we've seen Josh Allen come into his own. We've seen Stephon Diggs come into his own. Gabe Davis, when he needs to come out big, he usually does. But, I mean, they, this team just falls short every year, and I lose more and more confidence in this team making a deep run past the divisional round, past the conference round, making the Super Bowl even – at this point, it, it might, you know, shock some people, but I'd actually think that, you know, they, you know, especially with the tough division, they might miss the playoffs this year. I mean, key guys, Stefan Diggs, it seems like he doesn't even want to be there. I mean, he missed a few days of camp back in June. Um, I think that Josh Allen, he just loses confidence when he plays like a really good and big team. Um, but I think that Gabe Davis is a good number two guy, but if Stephon Diggs leaves, I don't think he can become the number one guy. I think that the Niners have a better team. Um, you know, he's even seen with a third string guy like Brock Purdy able to come in and with Debo Samuel and, uh, you know, Brandon Ayuk, just those two alone were able to show up for him and were really able to, like, keep their own and, you know, win games. I'd uh, like to agree with that statement and the statements that were made also that um, Josh Allen isn't well we've seen how he is in the postseason and he's very inconsistent like he's getting to the point now where this is the player that he is and we're starting to figure out now that he's not a player that will lead you to the Super Bowl or even win the ring at all he's a player that will play good in the regular season can lead his team to a decent amount of wins and then get shortly stopped in the postseason. While Joe Burrow is still a, I would say, up-and-coming quarterback. And he has more grit and more gut and more heart. And as well as the San Francisco team with Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy was injured in that, um, the round before the Super Bowl. 
and he was able to come back on the court, come back on the uh, field, that shows a lot of heart, and that shows that he has what it takes to maybe lead this team deep into the playoffs. And what you mentioned about, oh, looks like we got a caller calling in. Uh, Karen McPeterson here. Uh, I gotta ask, who's gonna win the Super Bowl this year? Who's gonna win the Super Bowl? Well, we mentioned that Kansas City is one of the top teams in the league right now, as well as Philadelphia, and you were talking about how Josh is kind of on his downfall, especially in a tough uh, division now with Aaron Rodgers stepping up. And we know now that Joe Burrow is kind of on the rise now. So I can, I find it hard to believe that the Chiefs can run it back again with how competitive the AFC is right now. I really think that the Bengals have a good shot at it this year at the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, I 100% agree with that. I think that uh, the Chiefs are still lacking that number one guy, so uh, you know we'll have to see. Um, but I do agree. I think that the Bengals are the, the main guy. You know, after last year's playoffs and last year's Super Bowl disappointment, I got the Eagles because they are a they're coming back for revenge this year, I feel like, with them losing Miles Sanders and really wanting to, I feel like as a team and their structure and their chemistry and their morale, that just boosted it all. And now they want to run even more and they're more hungry. And because there's no time stamp as to when or no area of time where they're, it looks like they're not going to slow down anytime soon. So I would say that if they don't win, this next year, then they're going to win the year after that. Yeah, definitely. And, and that looks like that is your answer for you. And it looks like that's the end of our show today. Thank you for watching CCC Sports here on 94.1 FM Rockville.